guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I'm sorry I haven't posted last week. I got a little busy with school and that is a perfect segue into this video. So this is going to be a super exciting video. I'm going to be showing you how to romanticize school in the most realistic way possible, regardless of what year or grade you're in. If somehow you haven't seen this trend already on TikTok or YouTube, romanticizing school means to make your academic life more idealistic or fun than it usually would be. I know, school can really suck sometimes, but in this video I'm going to be showing you how to combat those negative feelings and how to actually enjoy your time while you're at school. And in case anybody is wondering, I am in my sophomore year of college, I go to a community college. I'm going to take you guys through 12 different steps on what to do and how to do it and how it will benefit you. Step 1 is to get ready and put on a cute outfit. Wear something that makes you feel confident and aesthetic. Whatever your style is, find something that you love and that you feel comfortable in. You can also do your makeup and your hair try like a couple different new hairstyles and doing these little things can actually give you like a boost of confidence throughout the day I feel like when I wake up and I actually like physically get ready for the day and prepare it makes me feel way more motivated for some reason and I think part of that is because the past couple years we've had a lot of online school at least I have had a lot of online school and most of that was done sitting in my bed in my pajamas step two is to create the perfect fall vibes playlist you can use this playlist while you're driving to school or walking to your classes. Pick songs that make you feel like you're the main character of your own movie. Step three, get coffee or matcha, um, tea, boba, any like little drinkity drink that you can sip on while you're studying or reading. My favorite is coffee and matcha and I like going to Starbucks to get it. Having something small like that every now and then adds a little bit of motivation to get you out of your bed or off of TikTok to go be productive. This day I went to Starbucks because I already had gone to my classes and I had a hot pumpkin spice latte and a pumpkin loaf. I love the loaves at Starbucks, tell me how you feel about them. And that brings me to number four. Allow yourself to have a change of scenery when you're studying or doing homework. Sitting in your bed or the same desk every day can cause distractions and be really unstimulating. Personally, when I work at my desk, I always end up just reorganizing everything instead of actually paying attention to my work. I love to go to coffee shops like Starbucks. But I also like sitting in the backyard at a table, under a patio at a park, or anywhere where there's a little bit of background noise. I usually think that the more sunlight you have, or like the more windows you're nearby, the better. Number five, actually try in your classes. Yeah, I know, you probably don't want to hear that. But something that made me into the honor student that I am today is being competitive with my classmates. Not in an extreme, hateful way, but having the slightest competitive mindset while you're doing your homework can actually motivate you a lot. Pretending to be Rory Gilmore or Blair, pretending to be Rory Gilmore or Blair, oh. pretending to be Rory Gilmore or Blair Waldorf can actually make you work better. Take pride in all of the work that you produce. Six, chat with your classmates. I know, again, you don't want to hear this, and you're probably in the comments right now typing something like. I don't even like the people at my school, why would I ever talk to them? Because I was the same way all through middle school and high school. But here's a reminder of why you should be friendly to your peers. They can give you notes. They can help you on problems that they know how to solve and you don't. I know I sound shallow saying that you know you should become friends just for benefits, but it could be a great help if you happen to miss a day of class, especially if you're in college. Or if you lost a pencil, or if you forgot to bring the correct supplies that day, you can ask the person next to you that you You've been chatting with and it won't be a huge awkward situation if you've already had some casual conversations together. You don't have to be besties with everyone, but make a slight effort to have minimal conversations within like the first couple weeks so that awkward wall doesn't build up between you guys. Number seven, take good notes. I usually take sloppy-ish notes while I'm in class or lecture and then afterwards I rewrite them to make them look kind of cute and easier to read. Making cute notes is so much fun and helps your brain retain what you've learned. If you guys want to see a full tutorial on how I make my notes, let me know and I'll make that. Number eight, have a clean study area. This of course means keeping your desk or kitchen table cleaned, but it also means having an organized backpack and an organized desktop or iPad space. It also makes your desktop look prettier. 
And that leads to my next point, which is inspiration or study inspo. I already have a whole board on Pinterest about school manifestation stuff. Creating a collage of photos like this that inspire you can motivate you more and can help you manifest your goals. You can create a vision board with these photos and then set them to your wallpaper to serve as a constant reminder of those goals. Number 10, of course, having goals is important as well. Setting small goals, like getting a certain grade on a specific assignment is good, and it will also help you build to those bigger goals, like getting a B plus in the class. Make the goals small and reachable for your personal skill set. 11. Setting solid routines is what will determine how you feel every day. Creating a continuous habit every single day will change your life and add essential structure. It will really make you feel like that girl. It will also make you feel prepared and reduce anxiety since you already know what's going to happen next. 12. Take lots of pictures of literally everything. That is the thing that will tie all of these other steps together into a nice bow. Become the Pinterest girl that you want to be. Taking pics of everything will help you realize the beauty in all the small little things in life. Trying to make everything you do aesthetic is fun as well, but don't try too hard to create the perfect life, since the perfect life is not a real thing. You have to believe in yourself. I know you can do it. And here's a quick little speed run of some little tips to use. While you are studying or reading or whatever, listen to dark academia background music. Music with minimal lyrics I highly, highly recommend doing that while, like I said, reading or studying. It like makes you feel like you're in Harry Potter or something. I love doing it and it actually motivates me a lot. Use an app like Speechify or some copy and paste text app when you need to read a lot of reading. So if you're reading something, especially if it's online, you can copy and paste all of the text you need to read. You can take that text, plug it into a reader that reads it to you, and then you can press play and follow along with that reader. So it's as if somebody is reading it to you. Lighting candles while you're doing work is the best thing in the world as well. It smells good and it kind of creates like ambient lighting. And those are all the tips I have for you to romanticize your life at school. And that was it for this video. I really appreciate you watching out all the way to the end and make sure to comment this emoji so I know that you were a real one who made it to the end. Also, do you prefer like fancy aesthetic note taking or super basic classic note taking? Make sure you comment that down below too. I'm trying to reach 700 subscribers by the end of November, so I would really, really, really appreciate it if you just hit that subscribe button down below. I post every single week, except for last week. Sorry guys, I was busy with school. And I'm also on Instagram and TikTok. You can definitely go check me out there. I post there between uploads. All right, that is it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.